greedy company that uh, buy IP to make money. For example, do you know, do you ever play Dungeon Keeper? I love Dungeon Keeper 2. It was a, fu a hell of a fun game. After uh, EA, if I remember correctly, bought the, the studio that make uh, that game. What did you expect? Uh, Dungeon Keeper 3? No, they make a fucking mobile garbage game. And the franchise is dead, basically. It's the same game, if, uh, just in other scenario. I did enjoy Assassin's Creed 2. I just don't like the series in general, especially the last one, the last entry, the one that that uh, they make, uh, they made the Assassin's Creed like uh, an RPG. Doesn't make any sense at all to me. But uh, we're talking about Ubisoft. Ubisoft, Ubisoft is. Uh, a studio that doesn't have any idea, just copy the successful one. For example, you made a good Battle Royale, Battle Royale is popular, well, guess what? Ubisoft making a, are going to make another Battle Royale. Uh, you're, uh, you had a good uh, JRPG, guess what? Ubisoft are going to make a, a great so-called JRPG. Problem is, they are not good on making gaming by copying the other one. They're really garbage in doing that. In fact, if you notice, every Ub Ubisoft project instantly failed at launch. Like Skull and Bones, for example. A disaster of a game. Oh, I'm f Luckily for us, indie studios, indie video game studios are going to save the, the industries. And if by doing that, uh, giant corporation must fall, well, it's all good for me. Ok, ragazzi, vado a prendermi B, che è fondamentale per la vittoria. Yeah, quadruple bullshit. The only reason they call quadruple uh, quadruple hey game is because they spend a lot of money because they for they were forced to publish that game. Because in other circumstances they they will have uh, cancelled the project. But uh, I don't remember uh, which company they made uh, an agreement with a company, so they were forced to publish the game. So they spend uh, I don't know many much money on this shit. Cool and bones, and uh, of course uh, the investment will never, will never return. They spend too much money in that. Payday three, yeah, another example. Payday three is a good example. Uh, for me, for me personally. The thing that I most hate about all the situation was Battlefield. After the the master periods that was uh, Battlefield One, World War One, uh, that a really masterpiece of a game. Even if it's not uh, historical accurate, you uh, you don't have the the weapon like should uh, you should have in the in the period. Too much machine and uh, the the magazine of the weapon are too exaggerated, but I don't care. I think it was a fun game. But after that, EA said, "Hey, let's make a Battlefield like Call of Duty. Let's make Battlefield like a live fucking live service." And guess what? Try to try to modify a franchise because you want to make only all the money in the world and see the result. Yes, but the field one was a masterpiece. Even the even the single player campaign was good. I think one of one of the best single player campaign on on the Battlefield series at least.
Well, EA is the one that uh, launched uh, Anthem. You know, you, you remember Anthem? The wannabe Iron Man simulator. Okay, I remember the the when uh, they presented the project at the tree was yeah, I was with my cousin. Yeah, I know. Uh, I if you remember Anthem, they. They present Anthem at, uh, at E3 And I, I remember that I was with my cousin was, uh, when, I, when they presented Anthem I think it was uh, 1am, 2am was late because um, we I was in the middle of, um, of, the <laughs> of a moment where I, was, I wanted to start streaming in that period, I, I really don't have the the, the knowledge to stream uh, properly. So I, at the end of the day, I didn't stream that E3. But I I clearly remember that day because it was 3 a.m. 2 a.m. Uh, if I remember uh, correctly, or around that time clock. They presented Anthem. The, the first trailer of Anthem was um, was really amazing. As down was as down was uh, was really amazing. But I remember clearly, I I watching I watched uh, my my cousin and I said, this game is bullshit. This is fucking impossible. It's fucking it's a fucking fraud. And I and I told and I told the, this like uh, three four between three or four years before the launch of the game. So my cousin was. Uh, had a mixed reaction. I was really, um, I was really skeptical about uh, about that game. So after I watch uh, the launch of Anthem, I, I I I called my cousin and I said I was right. That game was a fucking fraud. <laughs> That game was a fucking fraud. And I know about that because uh, how the fuck did you present a, a, a game like that? A, a fucking live service, by the way. Because if, if Anthem was a single player game, I think, well, if you put Anthem in a single player perspective, well, potentially you could have a masterpiece. But the fact that they made Anthem as a live service was a dead sentence. Because every time you do the live service treatment to a game, if you don't, if you don't have uh, a really solid uh, gameplay, a really solid uh, um, investment in content, especially because you a live service to work. You, as they needed to to add the many things to do in the game if you don't add the content in the game you're basically as good as dead well guess what no content for anthem and then the game died and the fun thing is ea doesn't even try to save the game well when i when they realized that game was dying they said okay fuck this game let's move to another project and i was like are you fucking kidding me? You don't even believe in, in, in your project? That's EA for you guys. Ma ce l'abbiamo un ufficiale in questa merda? Yeah, but whatever reputation cost, that, that's the, the thing that I made that make me really mad. They don't even care about their reputation anymore. They just greedy piece of shit, useless piece of shit. That's the only way I can describe... Uh, that's really the only way I can describe uh, EA.
greedy piece of shit. They ruin a lot of games that I loved, like uh, Battlefield, for example, or uh, Titanfall. I really love Titanfall 2, and they ruin it by being dicks. That's why I hate, uh, I really hate uh, um, EA in general, because every time they, they get the end on uh, some cool franchise, they bought a franchise. Well, the franchise is ruined. And they ruined the franchise, these fuckers. But unfortunately for us, we don't have power about uh, franchise and other stuff. But technically, we don't have to move the processor. Sì, esatto. Ce l'abbiamo fatta ragazzi, ottimo lavoro. Sanzo ha un po' di problemi, ma... In the end, the game is working. Hmm. Well, I don't. I really don't understand why they make. Uh, um, they make single, uh, single games like this, and they don't uh, don't do like. Uh, instead of, of selling single games like Verdun and this on, so they don't do like uh, an expansion. So they make uh, Verdun and then they make Zonzo and then make uh, other stuff in a single pack. I mean, if you so if you sell uh, Zonzo for thirty bucks as a as like an expansion of Verdun or uh, you can call it uh, like a World War One series, the game and then uh, sell the the package as an expansion. I think they will have a lot of player base. Yeah, I forgot Thunderbird. Uh, they they had uh, they could have a lot of player base, a more much higher player base, and uh, and they could still make a lot of money about this one. If you really don't want, uh, if you really want to sell the single game, you could. Uh, give the possibility to buy a single package uh, for example if i don't am not interested in Verdun, i could buy only zones and if i want i could buy the other three but if they added like a single a single game well uh, could be better i don't know i don't know if you think like uh, like me this front well I know but if you want to do again I don't know uh, you could uh, I, I think if we, with uh, with the right uh, organization and uh, you could do event like uh, I don't know if you play this uh, fuck don't you have if you play this weekend uh, for example Verdun if all the player play were done this weekend, I will give you uh, skins, will give you XP boost or something. I don't know. Just for example, um, I think it's the matter that uh, maybe this team is too small to organize this this kind of job. Okay, last time I made it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again. 
Okay, I made it. Fanculo, sto questa zona è troppo controllata, devo cambiare zona. I remember uh, Battlefield 3 there was a scrap mode nobody plays. Everybody plays scrap mode at lunch. Scrap mode basically was uh, you don't have a loadout, you find weapon uh, in the you found weapon uh, in the a random uh, in the street in the in the buildings and you fight with what you you find. The weapon was random, so you could find good weapon, you, you could find a shitty weapon. They play... people play that game like... Uh, to unlock uh, the crossbow. You need to play that game, I don't know how many times. But they, essentially, people was incentivized to play that game just to unlock the crossbow. And after everybody... <laughs> I locked the crossbow, nobody played it, get it mod again. <laughs> but, uh, well, there were, in reality, it was really fun. But uh, the problem, uh, the problem is the vanilla mode of Battlefield 3 were very superior, were very funny. The conquest, the dead match, uh, etc. They're very funny modes, so it's really difficult to top uh, the vanilla to top the vanilla modes. That's the main problem about uh, Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 was so damn good. I think that one of the best FPS ever made. Like uh, Bad Company 2 and uh, even Battlefield 4. But I think 3 was magic for me. Maybe because uh, I received that game in a magic period. It was my birth. It was released on my birthday. So I had it uh, at my birthday. Uh, everyone of my friend, my parents, my cousin, everyone had the game. So everybody were. Uh, everybody we're playing uh, Battlefield 3 so the lobby were always full there was a lot of funny people in that game I can't remember uh, how much time I had fun with randoms in the um, <laughs> Battlefield uh, with the, with David, with Astrakhan David we, we did a lot of funny gameplay there was the one when uh, we <laughs> We chase uh, tank enemy tanks with a fucking uh, <laughs> with a fucking car, <laughs> and we blow up the tanks <laughs> with the uh, with the engineer torch, the repair torch. And uh, at a certain point of the game, uh, tanks uh, they didn't even bother to shoot at us; they just run from us because we are too fast. So the turret tank cannot uh, keep up our speed. So at a certain point, uh, people just uh, gave up the tanks because of us. <laughs> we made uh, we were up on ice jeeps. Yeah, Battlefield it was a really magic uh, battlefield. Another another epic uh, game I had in Battlefield 3. There was a. I remember. Uh, I remember there was a private server. Basically, you can uh, you can. Of course, we're talking about EA, so they sell you servers, so you can play the game, uh, private game, and with friends. So EA being EA, but. Uh, we found uh, um, a server of two idiots. So basically, these guys uh, uh, were cheating, of course. They 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 uh, they were really good with the chopper attack chopper. So 
What are they doing uh, is that uh, they let you spawn, but they start to instantly kill you with the, with the attack chopper. And they were really good with the chopper, so we didn't have the ability in the ground to, to shoot down their chopper. But uh, slowly but surely we, we were playing uh, uh, attack mode, the mode where you need to put the charge in an or, uh, to an objective and, uh, and blow up the objective, no? So I remember that uh, we were really good at this, but at a certain point uh, in the last uh, two, two points we were stuck because uh, they... They instant kill us at the moment we respawn. So I had an idea. Uh, I remember... Uh, I don't remember the name of the map, but uh, there was uh, an air carrier with uh, with jets. And uh, so my idea, the idea was... Uh, they always shoot down the jets, so every time with the jet spawn they run to the air carrier, destroy the jet and then start to kill us again. But they forgot to destroy the chopper. So, the plan was this. I told my friend, uh, okay, Manuel, we, we will take the chopper, we fly really high, and uh, we hide in the sky, because the support chopper was really small. Yeah, rush mode, yeah, right, right the rush mode. Uh, the support chopper was really small, so... Well, it wasn't very visible at the high altitude. Especially if you use an attack chopper, the visibility is not that good in that chopper. So we fly really high, surpass the enemy, and uh, we launch uh, we launch with the parachutes. So I told him, do not place the charge uh, right. Uh, do not place the charge soon. When we reach the the two charge, we replace it at the same time. The thing is, every time. Uh, uh, we are on the winning side. They change the the team, so they put uh, they put us in defense if we are uh, in advantage in attack, and uh, and at the same time if we are in advantage in defense, they put us in attack. So they always had the the advantage in this server because their their server was theirs. But there's a trick. Yeah, I still I'm still a friend with Manuel. I still friend with him, and I always remember with pleasure that times. So the thing is, once you place the last charge, the last two charge, you cannot swap team. So basically, what I think they are do they, they were doing, they were trying to swap us team once uh, they realized that uh, the last charges were placed, but they can't. So they were they were fucked because we are uh, in the last uh, map in this map particular map. Uh, don't remember the name uh, of the map, but. The last charge were made inside a building, so we, you can do nothing with an attack chopper. You need to to abandon the chopper and uh, go on foot inside the building. And then <laughs> inside the building, they they were fucked by us. It was an epic victory against two cheater. And this is one of the many moments, the fun moment I had on Battlefield Three. So I miss those days. And I always hope that the next battlefield is as good as that one, but every time uh, it's not like this, unfortunately. <laughs> Those were the good days. Ok ragazzi, vinciamo sta partita così stacchiamo. Che già ho fatto due ore di live. E vi avrò ammorbato abbastanza con i miei racconti. Culo, Coba. Tu hai la tua pistola dei poveri. Mamma mia, che schifo di partita. Si vede che sto facendo. 
sto giocando più per narrare le mie storie che per giocare seriamente Ora mi concentro un pochettino 7.24 è vergognoso Can't see shit. Perfetto Mori bimbi Ok Eh sono al mio posto Why? Facendo una partita assolutamente di merda Ma va bene così ragazzi Me ne vanto Chi è che mi spara? Ragazzi, munizioni per voi. Vampati il rovente. Fuck! Keith, we're screwed! E te l'avevo detto. You won't get me! Questa piantina d'uva mi salverà. Quest'uva quest tipo è... Ma che razza di uva è ragazzi? Sembra un pezzo di plastica. Tipica tragedia della prima guerra mondiale, ragazzi. C'è l'uva cartonata. E eh. è per questo che siamo andati in guerra alla fine. Perché ci hanno tolto l'uva. Presente Alex Sì 
Stand still, you bastard. Back up. Dai, che non si stanno avanzando. Vedete, non ci avrei dato... Un centesimo bucato a questa postazione qua con l'ulivo qui. L'ulivo, la, la... la pianta d'uva. Oh no! Ah vabbè, sono i nostri, ok. Ho temuto il peggio per un attimo. Penso che mi posso muovere adesso, siamo avanzati abbastanza. Bravo dopo Mercy. Oh! Io l'ho spinato maledetto. Oh shit, I'm going to die. I definitely going to die. No, mi sono salvato. Allora. Carica, verde panzer relate, abbiamo portato a compete. Ce l'abbiamo, ragazzi! I believe I missed that. Ori Pablo Sto recuperando un po' di dignità perché sono ancora 26 morti addosso. Mm, potevo ripartire direttamente da lì, raga. Mi piace quando lo spawn è equo. Troppo alto. Oh mio dio, ah! Oh. Ho ucciso Davide Jurassic. Un uomo che viene dal Jurassic evidentemente. Cazzo. Ma va fanculo, tu e la mitragliatrice. Ah io! Come on, we need to charge. Mmm, eccellente. Per una volta uno spawn decente, quella è rarità.
No, per niente la con comodo, Harry, devi ricarica la tua velocità, non è che devi avere fretta. Il nemico ha il sopravvento, torna a combattere! Ma che vi prendi le band, bastardo? Oh, il fuciliere è tipo... ipocondriaco. Au. Abbiamo un Kobe Wild da quella parte. No, please. <laughs> My troll is, uh, is suffering right now, I spoke too much. Two hours of life is too much for me. Fuck, this is the last game, guys. This game was too long just for me. Oh my god, ma qua dentro è pieno di nemici. Vai della Van Mercy! I need help! Ma va fan cool! Fammi entrare qua in questo cunicolo! Oh. Oh. Questa guerra è troppo atroce per me! Io che sono un'anima pura! Facevo solo il mugnaio ai miei tempi qua, mi hanno, hanno dato un fucile, mi hanno detto vai là e combatti per l'Italia, ma va fanculo, ma vacci tu. Can't see shit! can't see shit io mi sarei piazzato proprio qua stronzo Sparato uno dei nostri, testa di cazzo. Ti ha dato altre missioni così può fare altri crimini di guerra, tieni. È nostra, ora tenetela. Benvenuto Sergio. Immagino che avrà rosicato parecchio visto che gli ho sparato. For real, Duke? I mean, what kind of idiots uh, playing uh, with a girlfriend with mod? It's a primitive guy, like a, a Conan-like guy who live with trivial, uh, trivial matters. Look, 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 badass. <laughs> the scars of a real man. By the love. Oh, mercy. Oh, shit, a log. A log. Oh, God. Oh. 
Oh fuck Bottuto bot Advance Per l'Italia Fanculo a sto gas di merda Oh mio dio un'esplosione Tutti nella fossa Let's hope for the burst Ok questa fossa ci ha salvato la vita 50, ti regalo pure le munizioni Tieni Scaviamo la cassa qua <laughs> Damn this fucking internet <laughs> I understand you Duke For you is the rain For me is the wind Mi devo sto cazzo di Sto maledetto affare Che mi fa venire l'asma ogni volta oh. Oh. For you it's the night How could the night uh, Erase your internet wage Ma che c'è quella cazzo qua Scusi ma Dungai Guarda la sua testa Yeah Non avevo mai visto questa tecnica Da mitragliere Ma deve aver studiato in una scuola particolare Quest'uomo Lui combatte alla inept combat school Infatti è morto I must crawl There are enemy nearby Let's go down This war is horrible Many people are dying for what? For these buildings For these shitty Shitty buildings Prendiamoci raga il battaglio che... Andiamo qualcosa di un pochettino più fast I need speed Look, be careful if the, the radio start to to go static. Oh, 
Buttateli su quella posizione, ragazzi! Sala Gadula, Magic Abula, BDP Body BDP. Ciao, fratello, ormai è nostro. I have an idiot's feeling. Oh shit, sta per esplodere! Oh, I survive! Che stiamo vincendo senza avere gli avamposti messi, ve ne rendete conto? I think the I think that the um, the ice pick has the fucking range above uh, above the knife. That's the real problem. Too much range for that fucking shit. detto Rocco Rocco si freddi no not this time I'm, I'm streaming right now because uh, my cousin uh, graduated uh, today so I have uh, a family dinner after so I cannot uh, stream we celebrate his graduation last game guys after this I'm going uh, I end the stream hope you enjoy the, the stream guys però vi siete divertiti ragazzi chiudo qui ci becchiamo alla prossima bye Duke bye Wage bye Duke see you next time guys La partita ho fatto totalmente schifo, ma va bene così, tanto la... Solo per, per raccontare avere un po' di compagnia.